What is up, guys? Welcome back. I haven't posted in a while. Sorry about that. But today I will be doing my MLB 2022 Player Award predictions. The first award I will be doing my predictions on is the Most Valuable Player Award. I'm going to start it off with the American League, and I'm going to be picking Aaron Judge for the MVP award. Hitting 60 home runs so far this season and possibly passing up Roger Maris's Yankee record of 61 home runs is a really big deal. And I think that outweighs Shohei Otani getting 200 strikeouts this season. Um, and I think he's just an overall really good player. He has that uh, number one spot in that Yankees lineup. And that's proven to do well for him this year. And I think this is the year that Aaron Judge finally wins MVP. And now for the National League. Um, and I think without a doubt that the National League MVP will be Paul Goldschmidt. He's having an outstanding season, and he will definitely surpass Nolan Arenado and Austin Riley. He has more, already has more than 30 home runs this season, a walk-off grand slam, and he... He almost has the triple crown, same with Aaron Judge, actually. And I don't think there's any way you can really pass that up. The next award I will be predicting is the Cy Young Award for starting pitchers. I'm going to start out with the National League. And I think that Sandy Alcantara will win the Cy Young for the National League this year. He already has the most complete games out of... Um, any team combined like I'm pretty sure he already has like maybe I want to say nine uh, shut uh, complete games and he has a shutout and he's just really an overall really good pitcher as for the American League as you can already see my prediction will be Justin Verlander it's crazy how uh, after after just having Tommy John surgery last year, Justin Verlander has become such a good pitcher. And with Shane McClanahan sort of falling apart after his injury in these last few weeks, not really doing too good, Justin Verlander is the top pick for the Cy Young candidacy for the American League. And they say that Tommy John makes your arms stronger. Well, Justin Verlander here is proof of that. And I think this year he's going to win Cy Young. And the final award that I will be predicting today is Closer of the Year. So I'm going to start it off with the American League. And I think that Emmanuel Class A will win Closer of the Year. He's just had a really good year this year. He has the most saves in the MLB. Over 30, I believe. And he's just... An overall really good pitcher I mean he's had he's had some great uh, innings in relief and his um, fastball is really fast I mean uh, he's getting up there to like 102 and almost 103 and none of the American League closers can really compare to Emmanuel Class A uh, to compete for that closer of the year award Next up is the National League Closer of the Year Award. And I think I'm going to be going with Edwin Diaz. He's had a really good year. Um, he's been striking out a lot more, getting a lot more saves. Kind of struggled in early April, but now he's, since basically like June and July, he's really gotten the hang of it and actually had a c combined no-hitter for the Mets against the Phillies. And that's why I think he's going to pass up like those really good closers like Kenley Jansen and Ryan Helsley um, for the closer of the year. 
um, award in the National League. Thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't posted in a while, so glad to see that you guys are still watching some of my videos. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.